myself in the moment. <laughs> We are talking about the horror heist movie Killers Within. This one is uh, directed and written by both Paul Bush and Brian O'Neill. It's an Irish low budget movie and it focuses on this family whose son has been kidnapped by some uh, Russian mobsters and they have demanded a ransom of uh, I think 600,000 euros. So this kind of, uh, this, this family who comprises of an ex-cop and you know uh, his wife, their brothers, etc. They decide that they're going to rob this kind of this this bank, and how they're going to do that is they are going to kidnap the bank manager's family, and get the bank manager to kind of draw out six million euros, uh, pay off the kind of the the mobsters, and then have some money for themselves. So that's the plan. So they go to this kind of large kind of uh, country estate of this kind of bank manager, kick you know, kick the hostages of the, of the family. And uh, ultimately, it turns out that these uh, these people may have something more to hide. There may be more kind of sinister things going on. Maybe something even otherworldly. So that's all I'll say on the plot. Uh, it sounds a little bit like when you first watch this, you'll be reminded of your next uh, because it's kind of like a home invasion style uh, film. But this time, you're kind of the protagonists are the invaders, and the other hunters become the hunted. So, what do I think of Killers with them? So it's a low budget kind of uh, movie. I've got to say, I enjoyed this one, however. This one had a, a real kind of like um, good pacing for, for a start. I mean, we get to know our characters, uh, our protagonists, and I like the, the, the way the characters are developed. You do feel like you get a good sense of who these people are, at least for the kind of the, the main ones. There are a couple of um, clearly uh, cannon fodder uh, ones that are uh, clearly going to be the first to go, but. For the most part, I feel everyone gets a fair, a decent amount of kind of characterization, and then even the kind of our family of uh, antagonists, this kind of this bank manager and his family, who are you know have this kind of secret. Again, they get a little bit of characterization, and when we kind of get into the kind of the thicker things, obviously things kind of go from bad to worse. There's, I like the way that this that there is obviously the uh, we find out that the, when the tables are turned, there these these kind of this bank manager's family have some real power. But the, our, our protagonists aren't completely powerless. There's good, a good sort of struggle there. And what I really liked, what I really, really liked this movie was the kind of the world building and the mythology that kind of, uh, the, um, that surrounds it. So there was a really good scene where our kind of our head bad guy is talking to our kind of our main protagonists and ultimately kind of, you know, going through a bit of a history lesson about what's kind of, what's ha you know, the status quo, and the real kind of situation with the world, at least according to this movie. And I just thought it was really good. It was a really well done scene. It was kind of like, um, you know, a quiet scene with two, two men sitting down by this kind of like, this log firing kind of being quite menacing. It reminded me almost of a Tarantino style scene. That was really good. Uh, and I quite like the kind of the, the makeup effects here. There are creature effects and I thought they were quite good. It doesn't work. Um, this has got to be one of the most inept bunch of uh, criminals we've ever seen. Um, now, I will say this, they're not career criminals, they, these are, uh, maybe with the exception of one of them, uh, these are people who don't really do this, but even so, there is some ridiculous things that happen in regards to, you simply wouldn't do that in that situation. Um, for example, without trying to give away any, any, any spoilers, we have this kind of, this uh, our group of robbers, and uh, they, they kidnap this family that consists of the kind of the adult male, who's the bank manager, his wife and their two kids, like a teenage daughter and a young boy. Um, and uh, one of the, the, the youngest member of this kind of like this, uh, the robbers, clearly fancies the, um, the, uh, the, the teenage daughter and tries to seduce him. But no, no one in their right mind is going to kind of like uh, go, oh, untie me and, you know, we'll, we'll have sex and stuff. It's just a little silly. Um, th so there's a little bit of kind of silliness involved. And that's not the only example. There's just a little bit of kind of dumb decisions made. No one thinks to shout, uh, you know, people's names when they go missing, things like that. Um, there are kind of a few logic issues here as well. Uh, for example, that inside the house there's a gunshot. A uh, character fires a gun in one room and, in, and a character in an adjacent doesn't hear it. I mean, we're just talking it's in a house. 
So that's a little silly. And one character seems to have just disappeared. Um, I won't say which, but there's a character out of our two families, one of which just disappears from the plot and it's never seen again. Um, without any real explanation, I don't know if I missed it, but I don't think I did. So I was expecting a little tag at the end and we could have seen something, but no. Uh, so that was a little bit, that was a little bit weird. There's some wonky CGI here and some of the acting is a little bit ropey as well at times. But um, I've got to say, for the most part, I actually enjoyed this movie. It's nothing too original, but it's a well-made film and it's entertaining. And that's kind of obviously what you want from a kind of a, a low-budget horror with kind of plenty of kind of actions and stuff like that. So I would actually probably recommend this for the most part. It's just, again, there's, there's some silly kind of moments here. Um, but I like the characters and I like the kind of the effects and I kind of like the action. So I'll give this one a 6 out of 10. It's a, you know, it's a recommendation. Have you seen Killers Within? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.